Hey everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. In today's lesson, we are going to solve March 2023, paper 32 and question number 3. So the question number 3 is, <coughs> evaluate the usefulness of the concept of elasticity of demand to FWB when deciding on a new marketing mix. So our focus of analysis is to link how different elasticities will help us keep the right marketing mix. And since the question is about marketing mix, it will be beneficial for us if we can get the idea regarding what is the marketing objective, because we said marketing mix in accordance with the marketing objective kept. So your structure, since it's a 12 mark question, your structure can be that in the first paragraph you discuss PED because it is something given in the case. Then you discuss advertising elasticity of demand, which in this case will be termed as promotional elasticity of demand. And then you conclude as well. So the assessment skills division is two, two, two and six marks for evaluation. All right, so let's move on. So we can see that this business is basically selling you organic drinks such as coffee, tea, freshly pressed seasonal fruit juice and also it is also selling you cookies and muffins. This is the product portfolio. You can pause the video and read the text from here till here. So let's move on to the main gist of the question. A new marketing mix. FWB uses the same marketing mix throughout the country K. Prices and products are the same in all locations. FWB's objective for 2023 is to increase each van's revenue by 15%. So there you go. There you have the objective. And now we are going to link it as to how the knowledge of elasticity is going to help us take the right decisions when it comes to our marketing mix, ultimately leading to the achievement of this objective. Okay, so using past revenue data, using past revenue data and market reports, the marketing director is considering how price changes and increased promotion, how price changes and increased promotion might impact units sold and revenue. He estimates that increasing the price of coffee from $2 to $2.3 will decrease the demand for coffee from an average of 180 to 170 cups per day per van. He also estimates that the promotional elasticity of demand, I'm going to call it advertising elasticity of demand in this video is 0 0.8. In 2022, FWB spent 0 0.2 million on advertising and revenue was 40.5 million. The market director will de decide a new marketing mix next month. All right. So there are a few things that you have to consider. When you talk about price elasticity of demand, PD is actually determined by two sources. You can use past sales or you, if you are a new business and you do not have past sales, you can forecast PD based on the findings of market research. But both the cases, even if you consider past sales when determining PD or you consider the findings of market research when determining PD, both things cannot be completely accurate. Because even if you are using your past sales, the conditions of the past may vary from the conditions in the future. So let's say your PD last year was inelastic because you were the only business. But next year, five new competitors have emerged. So the same inelastic PD cannot be in the next year as well. And likewise, market research can never be 100% accurate. So therefore, PD is also not supposed to be 100% accurate. So if you can clearly see, that your marketing director has given you this information from, from using past revenue data and market reports. So you can use this data and question the accuracy of PED or even promotional elasticity of demand. So there you go, you have an evaluative comment. And if you look at the products once again, you're talking about coffee, right? So if the price of coffee were to increase, the prices of coffee were to increase, it's not just going to affect the demand for coffee. Why? 
बिकॉज यू आर सेलिंग स्नैक्स एज वेल एंड मोस्ट पीपल वुड प्रिफर टाइंग अप दीज टू यू मे बाय अ कुकी एंड अ कॉफी और यू मे बाय मफिन एंड अ कॉफी सो इफ यू वर टू मेक योर कॉफी एक्सपेंसिव इट वुड इवेंचुअली रिड्यूज द डिमांड नॉट जस्ट फॉर कॉफी बट ऑल्सो फॉर योर सब्सटीट्यूट्स फॉर ऑल्सो फॉर योर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स एज वेल द जॉइंटी डिमांडेड गुड्स इन दिस केस सो दिस इज अनदर इवेल्यूटिव कमेंट दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो मैंशन वेन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पीरी सो लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू द कैलकुलेशन क्वेश्चन assume fwb increases spending on promotion by 20% and the promotion elasticity of demand is 0.8 calculate the percentage change in fwb's revenue okay so first of all you need to understand the concept of advertising elasticity of demand or in this case the promotion elasticity of demand the formula goes like the percentage change in quantity demanded is divided by the percentage change in advertising expense and as we all know If you were to increase your advertising expense your sales will increase or your revenue will increase and if you were to reduce your advertising expense your sales would reduce as well so in short advertising and sales share a positive relationship an increase in one variable will result in an increase in the other variable as well so far so good okay so you may have two different kind of results you may calculate your advertising elasticity of demand and you may get a result between 0 and 1 or you may get a result that is greater than 1 just like the concept of pd if your answer lies between 0 and 1 this means that your advertising in elasticity of demand is inelastic which means that for example if you were to increase your advertising by 30% but your demand only increased by 15% so if you use it in the formula 15 divided by 30 you are going to get an answer of 0.5 which is less than 1 what does this mean that advertising is not leading to an a significant increase in the quantity demanded so this means that your advertising is not that effective because it's not recommended to advertise more because you are spending way more money on advertising but you are not getting that benefit as a result in the form of increased sales and likewise If let's say you have an answer of more than one, this shows that little, relatively lesser increases in advertising will increase your sales by a far greater proportion. So, for example, if you were to increase your advertising expense by ten percent and you saw an increase in sales by twenty percent, your answer would be twenty divided by ten, and your answer would be two. So, this means that your advertising only increased by ten percent, but your resulting sales increased by twenty percent. so these are the concepts so now in this question you have already been given the advertising elasticity of demand that is 0.8 and you have also been given the change in advertising expense so if i were to use this formula you already have the promotion elasticity of demand and you already have the change in advertising expense so what you have to do is you write the value as it is the value of promotion elasticity of demand divided by you don't have the percentage change in revenue but you do have the percentage change in advertising expense and that is 20% so if i don't have this but i cross multiply these two values i'm going to get the increase in revenue so when i multiply i'm going to get an answer of 16% so my revenue will increase by 16% and i'll get one mark and if you can clearly see that the objective was to increase revenue by 15% but my revenue is actually increasing by 16% so i am achieving my objective through the promotion spending but then again much would depend upon how accurate is the promotion elasticity of demand how competitors are reacting to it and what kind of channels am i using to promote my products to the consumers so this is part a let's quickly move to part b and part b asks us to calculate the price elasticity of demand if fwb increases the price of coffee from dollar 2 to dollar 2.3 now in such questions it always advised by me to my students that you can make a table like this so your price change is given to you the old price is dollar 2 and the new price is dollar 3 and likewise if you go back in the case 
it clearly shows that your demand would fall from 180 to 170 so this is the new value and this is pretty much the old value so what do you do you write the new value here and you write the old value here i'm sorry you write the old value here and you write the new value here so this table will help you solve or get your answers to the ped now the next step would be that you already are aware with the formula of ped so percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price how do you calculate the percentage change percentage change for anything would be new value minus old value upon old value multiplied by 100 so in case of percentage change in quantity your new quantity if you see is 170 your old quantity is 180 divided by the old quantity 180 and you multiply it by 100 so you get the percentage change in quantity and that is 5.55 percent negative likewise if you talk about percentage changes in price you are given the new price dollar 2.3 minus the old price dollar 2 divided by the old price dollar 2 multiplied by 100 and you get the percentage change in price as well which is positive 15 now you have both the values you just need to put this down in the formula so it's going to be percentage change in quantity demanded that is negative 5.55 divided by percentage change in price that is positive 15 and you finally get a pd that is negative 0 0.37 so this is your PED and since you would know the concept that since it's lesser than 1, you ignore the minus sign when you're studying this rule and applying this rule. Since it's lesser than 1, we can clearly say that the PED is inelastic. And according to the concepts of PED, if you want to increase your revenue, it's always good to increase prices when you talk about an inelastic PED because it's going to help you increase your revenue. So how would you do your analysis? First of all, when you're making the paragraph of price elasticity of demand, you can clearly talk about the results first. So if you want, if you're like razor sharp with these concepts, if you want, you can even show these calculations. Do not show these calculations the way I have written. Just write that if the prices are to increase, the revenue would increase from 360 per day to 391. And therefore, reduce increasing prices in this case is likely to boost the revenue. But then again, since you need to evaluate your response, you're going to mention that whether or not PD will be able to increase revenue will depend on number one, how accurate it is, because it's based on your past sales. So how accurate it is, it's a very major determinant. And likewise, the actions of your competitors because your competitors may reduce their prices as well and if they were to do that maybe your customers which are price conscious may shift to your competitors so you can clearly see that i've written some evaluative comments and they are pretty much the summary of what we were discussing in the earlier section of our lesson so pretty much if you talk about this is going to be your analysis in the price elasticity of demand paragraph now let's quickly move on to the discussion of promotion elasticity of demand so the answer that you've obtained is 0 0.8 now this means that it is inelastic so increases in advertising will not significantly increase demand but still the current situation is actually helping you achieve your objective of 15%. So we are going to mention this, that it is helping you achieve your objective that was to increase revenue by 15% because it's actually increasing your revenue by 16%. But then again, much would depend upon how are you promoting, maybe changing the way you promote can actually improve your promotion elasticity of demand as well so these two paragraphs with one paragraph having a relatively longer chain of analysis as compared to the other paragraph and then conclusion now in the conclusion you are going to mention these comments the particular responses of these comments 
So when you talk about the conclusion, yes, elasticity will be useful, but then again, not completely because elasticity in this case is only talking about price and promotion. But you are ignoring two important elements of the marketing mix and that is your product and the place as well. So you can give examples of bringing variations to your products just the same way as I have mentioned the examples. And last but not the least, you can talk about which particular method of elasticity do you find useful in this case, more useful, show priority. Is it price elasticity of demand or is it promotion elasticity of demand and give reasons accordingly. I hope this helps. Happy learning. Thank you so much.